So hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and another Q&A video that we are going to do non-edited because I am filming this uh, today um, and uh, I am going tomorrow for a three weeks vacation slash work I'm going to film and uh, not something for this YouTube channel except from vlogs but I am going to film a lot of videos for my Denise model and travel YouTube channel. Um, so I uh, have done and for the exclusive platforms and everything, I am not filming anything. I'm gonna turn down the light a little bit. It looks a little bit bright when we're doing unedited. I cannot fix it afterwards. So we are doing a QA and a uh, and I have to get everything up before I go. That's what I wanted to say, so I'm stressed. <laughs> but I'm sitting down now trying to relax a little bit and then I'm going to pack and I'm literally like going in a few hours almost, so stress packing uh, will be so. Anyway, I posted on my YouTube and my Instagram that I'm doing Q&A because it's requested that I'm doing a Q&A update. And also I have been getting a lot of questions that I feel like I, I, I want to answer. So um, that's what we're doing. I got a lot of questions. I'm not gonna be able to um, answer them all, but we're gonna do our best. First, the question that everyone is always asking me as soon as I'm doing a Q&A, there's always two questions that is always coming up from multiple different people and it's how old I am and if I am married. I'm not married, never been married, and uh, I am 36, I turned 36 in June, so 36 years old, there you go. Um, I'm gonna kind of rush through the questions. Uh, because otherwise we will sit here forever. I can kind of talk about some things a lot. Leather or denim? Hard question. It depends on the occasion. I like both, I guess. Uh, biggest lesson you got from life? I think the biggest lesson is to don't care, like to not care about what other people think about you, except if it comes to the closest people to you. Like that's like one good lesson that I learned when I started to do modeling. Like back in the day when I started to do uh, pageants, as soon as you're doing an international pageant and you are like getting the title in your country, it's like huge all over the world and on different forums, like on, on some forums they are lifting you up like a goddess and, on, and in some forums they are like trash talking you. And I was sitting and spending a lot of time, I was a lot younger then, <laughs> this was in my 20s like I, I was 20 years old when I started to do pageants uh, and I got like really sad when I read the, th the things that people that didn't know me were, were they were sitting and writing things on the computer that was absolutely not true and really shit talking me uh, I had people writing the most beautiful things as well but at that point my sister told me like if you're going to be in this business Denise I think you kind of have to decide not to listen to what people have to say and I really went into the mindset because she was like, otherwise I think you should be out because it's gonna, it's gonna destroy you. So I think I got the mindset back then that honestly and purely, it's not that I'm just saying that, I really don't care if people are saying bad things about me as long as I know that the things that I'm doing and the, like how I am, I'm always trying to be the best version of myself and I'm not doing things that I should be ashamed of. Of course, if I'm doing something that is completely wrong, I'm not gonna deny if someone is saying that to me, but when it comes to who I am and how I am as a human, I don't care so much what people that do not know me say about me because I think I am a decent human. So, And I, I'm listening very carefully if someone around me, like my best friend, my mom, my sister, like close people to me, if they say something like um, constructive criticism, I'm going to take that and like I'm going to listen to that. It's not like I don't give a mm about what anyone is saying, but people that don't know me, like get to know me first and then you can come with feedback on how I am as a person. Uh, if you get a chance to be anyone for one day, who would you choose and why? My grandma, she's not alive anymore, uh, but she was an amazing human being. She passed away when I was 14 years old and we had a really good connection and I always admired her because she was such a kind human being um, and I would just, like to be her for one day and, and feel like 
how it is to be her or Troy, my dog Troy. I always say that he's my biggest inspiration to be a, a kind human being because it's purely kindness in, in that dog. I like, I literally look at him and I'm like, there is nothing evil inside of you. You are like my biggest inspiration in life to be just kind because oh, he's turning 12 this year, he's getting old. What's your favorite movie? I have answered this before as well. I think I have to say Gladiator. Gladiator is a movie that I really love. Uh, I've been watching it so many times. I don't watch movies so much. Like I, I, as you can see, I have so many channels and everything here. I'm spending a lot of time on my hobby that I was so fortunate to turn into a business. Uh, so I'm like spending most of my time on here. I'm not on Netflix so much. I'm not watching movies. Like I'm much watching movies in social matters. Uh, but I'm not watching movies myself. Um, so um, I'm not watching movies over and over again, but Gladiator I've been seeing, like I've, I've seen that movie several times and I really like it. Really touching, good movie. Do you believe in ghosts? Just a quick answer, no, I don't, I don't, I don't think I believe in ghosts. How many days do you work out every week? <laughs> well, I used to work out every single day and then I scaled it down to like six days a week. I had Sundays off and then I had like five days that turn into four to five days. So I would say four or five days a week is my, what I like to have lately. However, I, if you're watching my vlogs and everything, I've had like crazy much to do with everything here on my house. Uh, traveling, going here, going there, which is fun. So I'm not going to complain about that. Um, I'm still working out, but I have to say that it's more three times a week rather than four to five right now, but I'm going to scale it up. But the, the problem is not that if you sometimes have like an inconsistency, what goes for how many days you're working out. I think I never have a big jump. I never have like one month I'm not working out at all. It can be maximum one week and maybe that's because I'm traveling, but I try to work out during travel as well. So I think that's the key to having and building an empowered body to have something that is working all of the time and not having these big gaps, even if you're scaling it down to one, two, three sessions a week, or if that's a lot for you, but like if you, if you can keep that going a little bit, I think that's really good for your body. <clears throat> Do you prefer working out in the morning or later in the day? Morning, for sure. If I don't get it done in the morning, I do not get it done because my days are like this. So if I start my days and doing other things, I'm not going to the gym. <laughs> What's the best way to your heart? I don't know. How can I answer that? Like, <sighs> I, I really don't like, I don't know how to answer that question. I like like intellectual conversations more than I like to look at a physical body. Like even though I like when people take care of themselves, I like to be able to talk to people and like that's more important for me, I think. Uh, if you get a chance to change one thing in this world, what would that be? There are so many things I would like to change. But of course, I would like for no humans or animals to be harmed by anyone. That would be like, a, but that's like, that's never going to happen. So I, that's like a deep question. I can talk about that for a long time, but I'm going to leave it there. Like if I got one wish, I would wish that no humans would do harm to any other humans or animals. So never going to happen though. But what's your favorite dish? I love food. I've been answering this so many times as well. I just love food. I love food. I have certain food that I don't love so much, but um, I don't have any favorite favorite. Like I have plenty of things that I, I cannot pick one. I have so many different things that I love. How was your childhood like? Uh, I grew up without my uh, father, uh, but I have the best mother that anyone could ever ask for that I will never complain that I didn't grow up with my real father. I have a connection to him right now, uh, but that's from when I got older. But I have the best mother. There are people that doesn't have any mother or father. And I have the best relationship to my sister and her kids. Like, if you have been following me here for a while, you know that. Me and my sister are like this. And I'm like this with her kids as well. So, yeah. 
Uh, what's your favorite family moment? I have to say that my favorite family moments are all the small moments like when you are having a barbecue that didn't really plan out and you're having a really nice like on a Wednesday and really nice family time like I think the big moments like the Christmases and those type of gatherings with the family are not particularly the best ones. I think the small not planned out ones are the best ones. What's your next project? Oh my goodness, I could do a full video of that. <laughs> I'm getting a little bit mad at myself sometimes because I'm like having too many projects. Like who is running five YouTube videos and why? People are like, is all of them profitable? And it's like, you know what? We, we don't have to do everything in life because it's profitable. Like when I started this YouTube, it was not profitable for years. That's not why I'm doing my things. I'm doing it because I love to be creative. I have so many ideas. I cannot even do things with all the ideas that I have. But right now I'm working on my ASMR channel. I think one or two videos is already up when this video is going up. I have been pre-filming while I'm on vacation now. So it's going to go up one video every week. And uh, that is not profitable at all for me, but I'm, I like doing them. And it's a new challenge for me. I get to learn new things and how to do new things. And that's what I like. I always like to improve. And um, right now I'm working on improving my um, photographic skills, if we say like that. I'm not a professional photographer, but I, I love pho like photography and things. So I'm trying to improve there, even though mostly I'm in front of the camera, but mostly I am both in front and behind the camera. So, I have a lot of products. I'm working a lot on my Denise Model and Travel channel. If you haven't checked that out, like I'm rearranging everything. So I'm moving a lot of things over there and I have a lot of things going on. I have plans for what I'm going to do with the Denise and Dania channels. I saw many of you were, were asking about Dania. So this is the thing. I'm going to take that question now. So we have that out of the picture. This is the thing. Dania is getting older. She has a lot of do a lot of things to do in school. She's super busy and she's also working. And I moved, so we're not living so close as we used to. So when we started the TikTok and Instagram and YouTube and everything, when we were doing content together, first of all, she didn't, she was not that busy. Like she was just in school, but she just in school, but she didn't have any work or anything. So she, she had more free time. Also, she's getting older. So she's spending a lot of time with her friends. And also we are not living next door almost like we were doing then. So we're not spending as much time even though we spend time. But when we are spending time now, we want to do other things. We don't want to film all the time. So that's why it's not like we stopped. Maybe we'll, I, I, feel, I think we will film a little bit of videos here and there, but I'm thinking about doing something with the Instagram and cooperating it in a different way. We will see what I'm gonna do with that. I have some ideas, but it's not like we stop doing it. It will be some videos here and there, maybe like we will throw it in here and there, but it's just like, we cannot do it on a regular basis. We're doing videos for every single day. Like that's a lot of videos. How did your journey start? Um, I don't really know which journey we're talking about. If we're talking about this YouTube journey, uh, I started my YouTube because I was traveling so much at that time. I was living in Spain and in Sweden. I was a personal trainer, but it was hard for me to take my personal training with me. I was doing a lot of online coaching and I felt like I, because I get bored, if I don't have anything, like if I have nothing to do, nothing to build on or that I'm educating myself or anything, I get bored. So basically I felt like, okay, I'm going to just learn something completely new. I'm going to start a YouTube channel. I have no idea how to film. I have no idea how to edit, how to upload. I don't even know how YouTube is working. I didn't know anything, but I was like, this is a challenge for me and I'm going to do it. So I bought a camera. I started to experiment and I spent hours and hours and hours learning and failing and learning and failing how to edit and upload and everything. And for me, that was a product that I could take with me from Spain, Sweden, whatever I went. It was not like personal training that I went when I left Sweden, I couldn't work out with my clients there, even though I could do online coaching and things. I still wanted to have something that I was building on that I could take with me. And that's how my journey started. And from there it grew. And now I'm very pleasant and like thankful that I can do my hobby for a living, but I never take it for granted and that I'm expanding and doing things. But as I say, like all my things that I'm doing, it's not profitable. I'm not doing it because it's profitable. I, I want to learn and, and engage with new things. How do you motivate yourself? Honestly, motivation is such a 
slim line. I'm very rarely motivated with goes for the gym. Sometimes I am for a brief moment, super motivated. You know, when I'm most motivated is when I'm like looking at something or like planning my schedule for my workouts during the night. And then in the morning, I'm like, oh, not that motivated anymore. But I think it's about creating a routine in your life so things are just going with the flow because that makes me motivated. I can even like tap on my shoulder when I've been to the gym if I didn't want to go like, good job, Denise, good job. <laughs> that mot motivates me. So I'm not super motivated all of the time. And I think you should not strive after being super motivated because no one is always motivated. I promise you that. Uh, what are your five favorite countries you have visit? I, I cannot answer that. I've been traveling so much and all the travels are so different, like top five, I don't know. No, I'm gonna jump over that one. Uh, what's your favorite piece of clothing? Uh, <laughs> well, I am in soft pants a lot of the time. Kind of like soft pants. I like active wear, but I love dresses. I like, it depends on the occasion, but honestly, 80% of my time, I am in soft pants. I am in soft pants right now. Are you married? No. Um, Sweden has great hockey players. Do you like hockey? Eh, no. Do you like to visit Mexico? I've been to Mexico and I would love to go back there. Uh, do you watch any TV shows at the moment? I think I covered that before. No, I do not watch any TV shows. I don't have time. Sometimes I'm watching something, but it's like, okay, 10 minutes when I'm warming up in the gym here, 10 minutes when I'm getting ready there, 10 minutes when I'm sitting and eating. Like, one episode can take days for me to go through. I'm uh, So no, I'm not going through anything right now. It's usually when I'm like sick or if I have a very, a time in my life when I don't have so much to do, I can watch a TV show, but it, that's usually, I, I keep myself busy with other things. Where do you see yourself in five years? Uh, honestly, trying to not think about what I'm doing in five years. I am thinking and focusing, focusing about what I'm doing right now. Now, I used to be that person that always had a long-term plan, always was thinking about how my life was going to look in five years, in 10 years. And it's really good to have goals, but honestly, we can kind of tend to be disappointed if things is not happening the way we thought it was going to be. So right now I'm kind of living in the moment, taking the moment and doing what I want for the moment and whatever that takes me in the long-term, that's great. But I like, that's how I'm trying to think. Then, of course, I want my house to be like better than this. I love to travel. Like, I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm trying not to think about that. Where are you, you uh, based in? In Sweden. And I'm from Sweden as well. Uh, what matters mostly in a guy, personality or looks? Uh, I think I kind of answered that before. Of course, attractiveness. Like, you have to be attractive to a person but I think the inside is the most important, to be honest. How were, how were, how was your holiday in Italy? I loved it. Taormina, I'm gonna come back to you for sure. Can you dance? Show us your dancing skills. Not gonna dance now. No, I mean, I used to dance when I was little, like professional, like professional. I take dance classes and things, but um, no, I wouldn't say that I'm a professional dancer. Weight, height, and measurements. Honestly, my measurements I'm posting in every single video that I'm doing, what goes for the review videos. I'm 178 centimeters tall. My weight, I don't know right now, honestly, but I'm usually fluctuating around three kilos and I'm in the more upper level right now. But honestly, that's not important. Like you cannot look at the measures and everything. Like measures is more, say more about some, someone than the weight. The weight can be like, to people that looks completely different have the same height can be completely different in the body and have the same weight so uh, does your only fans have explicit nudes no i uh, do only fans but i do not do nude on only fans i think i might be the only person on earth that do not do nude or sexual videos on only fans but um i do not even do fully topless but i do however really Sens sensual and sexy content and I like to be creative like I like to be creative and do creative thing and uh, on tops I do transparency like transparent laundry and things but I don't do fully 
and no, then I do it my style. Like I do everything. I don't care so much what other people are doing. I do it my way. It rather works or it doesn't work. So yeah. Would you date a younger guy? I have done. Not in a relationship, but I've been dating a younger guy before. Age is just a number, honestly. Will you return to Malaga next year? I don't know. I don't have any plans for next year. Uh, do you have plans to visit Portugal? Portugal, Like me and my mom and my sister, we have talked about visiting Portugal. Uh, so yeah, I would love to go and I'm going to go. Here's someone that has asked on YouTube a lot of questions. I see that the time is already up in over 20 minutes. Uh, I'm afraid that my camera is going to shut down because I know this uh, Canon uh, R6 can be overheated when you do longer videos in 4K. How many countries have you visited? I don't know. Like I, I counted it and then I was up in like 40 something. Now I don't know. I need to count it again. Uh, uh, I'm so in love with your hair, but have you ever had another hair color? Yes, I had. This is my natural hair color and I've had my natural hair ever since I started doing my YouTube channel. Uh, but I've had lighter and darker. I've tried almost everything. I went to hairdressing school when I was in the uh, university, like what we call gymnasium here, high school. Uh, so I've tried a lot of things. Uh, have you watched the movie Barbie? And if so, did you like it? I watched half of it and I did not like it. Um, since you have been doing more unedited videos, which do you find more creative, creatively fulfilling? Edited videos where you're taking the time to plan out the video, blah, blah, blah. Uh, honestly, I like to do a mixture. I would not want to do just edited and I would not want to do just unedited. I like to be a little bit like this. Sometimes I like to have everything very structured and sometimes I'm like, let's do unedited. Uh, whew, I feel like I'm running out of time. Uh, any reason why you seem to love leather? <sighs> I started to collaborate with Shusko Fit many years ago and they had such good leather, like PU leather stuff and I just loved it. So I guess that's the reason. Uh, Ooh, okay. Uh, what's your favorite move? I've answered that. What do you like more, high heels or normal shoes? Depends on the occasion. I always like to wear high heels when I'm going out, but normal shoes for an everyday. Uh, do you have other YouTubers that you like? Honestly, right now I'm not watching YouTube if it's not that I'm searching for something. But otherwise, I don't have any YouTubers that I'm watching on a daily anymore. But I used to have a, a couple, but right now uh, I'm not watching almost anything. I'm just filming and editing and doing things like that. Uh, any regrets about the past? I kind of try to not regret, reg, regret the past. Everything that I've been doing has been leading up to who I am today. So what's your favorite cheat meal? I like hamburgers, I like pizza, pancakes, fried food. I'm not, I don't love fried food, to be honest. Uh, I think we're going to summarize it there because, I mean, it's too many questions to take them all. And I'm sorry for that. I'm going to keep some of the questions for my next Q&A. But I think I'm, I need to summarize it because since we're doing this unedited, I have a weird feeling that my camera is going to shut down very soon. So I want to summarize it before it happens and i need to pack because i'm going soon so i need to kind of get this video up uploaded and everything because you never trust the internet when you're traveling you don't know if you can upload heavy files to youtube tried it before failed so i'm not depending on that anymore so thank you so much for tuning in with me for today you find everything in my link tree down below what goes for my different channels and platforms and everything and I hope to see you in my coming content, but until then, take care, my friends, and bye!